Yesterday I was literally bouncing out of my seat when I heard the news that Amber Heard had given up on her appeal. And, as soon as I created a thank you, for the gorgeous Ben Chu and the rest of the team at Brown Rudnick, I got a lot of messages about it all. For example. Is that it for the appeal? Has Amber Heard lost? Has Amber Heard won? Is Amber Heard innocent? Why is Johnny Depp only getting $1 million? What's going to happen now? And, can Johnny get his appeal back in the UK? Well, I think that we need to take a look at all of this, and discuss. Now, don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the box below, and if you want to keep up to date on all of it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Right. So let's start with the lawsuit. Amber Heard lost the defamation lawsuit, we all saw this. And it was a unanimous verdict given by the jury. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. In a nutshell, she was found not to be credible at all. And so, the jury found that she had abused Johnny Depp. Regarding the appeal, her brief and responses to Johnny Depp's opening brief were poor without very much substance, which I've discussed previously. The statement that Amber Heard published is, well quite frankly, typical Amber Heard. It's full of falsities. She talks about her truth. I don't know about you, but whenever I hear someone say my truth, they actually mean a whole bunch of lies. There are real facts, and then there are those my truths. She also says that her voice is her most valuable asset. I'd say it is, when it comes to talking make-believe. Nobody, except her delusional fans, will take her words seriously now. It looks like, from what she has written, she still believes that she has won, and that she's innocent in all of this. Now this person right here, has been extremely vocal about Amber Heard, while being very unkind to Johnny Depp supporters. So, it's good to know that they'll have to eat their words. And, this is another one of those very vocal Amber Heard supporters. This one has stood out to be more delusional than most of the Heard stands. It's funny how she believes Amber is free from a guilty verdict. The verdict hasn't changed at all. She withdrew her appeal so the verdict stands as it is. Seriously. I do wonder what planet these people really do live on. But let's make this perfectly clear. It was Amber Heard who withdrew her appeal. I believe it was because she didn't really stand a chance. So, the judgment still stands. It was Amber Heard that pulled out and not Johnny. And, it was the lawyers who thrashed out a figure of payment. Now, even though she now only has to pay $1 million to him, we all know that it was never about the money for Johnny. Some people would probably be annoyed with the lawyers for not getting any more money, but he had always planned to give it away to charities. It was about Johnny being able to speak the truth about what really happened. And Ben and Camille confirmed this in their statement. Fortunately, Johnny will not be required to pay Amber Heard the $2 million set by the jury. While Amber Heard keeps on bringing up the UK case, just like her supporters, has she forgotten that she was not even party to the UK case at all? She was only a witness. And, I will continue to say that if the UK justice system ran like the US, Johnny Depp would have won over there too. I'm going to tell you why but do let me know in the comments, if you would like me to talk more in depth about this in a separate video. Right, so in the UK Johnny Depp was not permitted to gather all of the documentation and evidence prior to the court case. We are talking about the High Court of England and Wales. This is because Scotland and Northern Ireland have their own courts. So, this left him in quite a vulnerable position. Amber Heard was able to say what she liked, including the fact that she had paid the money, which we all found out from the US trial, that in fact she hadn't paid anything at all. But because she had said this, the judge in the UK trial had no reason not to believe her as she was only a witness. If Johnny had been permitted to gather all the documentation prior to trial, he would have been able to get the proof he needed to show she hadn't paid, therefore proving that she was lying. This would have blown that trial straight into the water and I'm certain that he would have won. It had nothing to do with the UK being corrupt. We are all on Johnny Depp's side, but whether we like it or not, we have to understand that countries have different justice systems. Right, so going back to her statement. She's saying that there aren't any restrictions or gags. That is actually true. Unfortunately it's unconstitutional for gagging orders to be placed, Amber Heard is still freely able to say and do whatever she wants. Now, her lawyers may have already advised her not to. But, this is Amber Heard we are talking about. Now here's the thing. If she continues defaming him in any way, Johnny could come straight back at her to claim the full amount that she owes. 
and next time he should get every single dollar. And finally, even though this case has now ended, don't forget that Amber Heard still has the ongoing lawsuits with the insurance companies. Those won't stop because the appeal has. And it's going to be interesting to find out what happens next with those lawsuits, to which I will keep you posted. But, that's it for now. So, have a great day and thank you for being here.